Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Bushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to distinguish uh, beech and hornbeam from their buds. Both beech and hornbeam are useful tree species to us in bushcraft. In fact, I did a video about maybe six weeks ago on bushcraft uses of hornbeam. Um, so just a very, very brief recap. Essentially, the, um, the outer bark on dead branches of hornbeam makes a really, really good tinder. I've done a video back in the autumn uh, around beech nuts and so that's a, an, an edible food source that we can find in the wild uh, and so you can see just from those two examples it's important be, to be able to tell the difference between these two species the the major reason however why i think it's important to know the difference between them is because of beech um, the habit of beech trees to drop limbs and so not just kind of this size um branch but they are they could drop you know limbs this kind of size and we've had them in our woods where they've dropped huge um limbs so when i'm doing a tree walk on our courses i would always say to people don't camp underneath a beach so in the winter of course when these things aren't in leaf we're going to have to try to identify um, a beach from a hornbeam to avoid camping under one um, and one good way to do that is going to be via the buds. What I'm going to do now is collect up uh, some buds from beech and some buds from hornbeam and I lay them down on a, a flat surface so that we can get a, um, a, a better view of them so we can make that comparison between the two to try to understand how to differentiate them. So I have here a twig from beech, so this side, and then I also have a twig from hornbeam, which is here. And the buds are very similar. Uh, just before that, however, when I was learning um, how to identify various tree buds, um, and in fact with other things such as um, plants, I often do it through association, so I look at it and I'll think of something else that it will remind me of and um, use that association. So certainly when I was trying to understand beach, I would look at it and think of it as being a bit like a hand rolled cigar. So it, it's, it's long and cylindrical. Uh, has a number of scales on it as well uh, and so you can have up to sort of 15 individual scales wrapped around the leaf fewer on a hornbeam so yes long cylindrical cigar like um, very distinct tip on the end of that bud as well so if you push it it's it's, it's almost um but it's quite solid whereas on hornbeam the bud as i say it is remarkably similar but it has fewer scales and it is shorter so typically about half the length on a beech bud it is about anything from sort of 15 millimeters to 20 millimeters long typically whereas on hornbeam more often than not it is sort of yeah, about half that length so you know, typically about 10 millimeters or so um, in length another feature that can be useful for us actually I should have said this earlier before we even look at the bud often you get slight downiness appearing on the stem of a um, hornbeam whereas on beech Back on this side the stem is nearly always um, smooth so you don't get that little hairiness bit going on 
Another useful feature that can help us, uh, if we look on this beech bud here, it's actually protruding from the main stem at about a 45 degree angle. Now we do get, um, so on this here, whereas, whereas on our hornbeam, we can see the bud here, it is laid almost flat to that um, stem. So you don't get that same protrusion, typically speaking. You do sometimes. So up here we've got one um, that is poking out a little bit from the main stem, but not at this same very pronounced 45 degree angle. So that's the, the beach in close up. And that's the hornbeam in close up. So I hope that's something that you found useful, something that you can take with you on your own bushcraft adventures. Uh, I will endeavour to get some more content out next week. Uh, make sure you don't miss out on that by subscribing either to our blog or to our YouTube channel, both Jack Raven Bushcraft. Um, in the meantime, take care, stay safe.